What's going on guys, El Tiburon here with another pickups video. But before we start, let's take a little, little swig of beer for the new year. This is what I'm drinking. I'm drinking a Frosty the Haze Man IPA. Shout out to my friend the Billster, Billy. Let's crack this one open. Let's get this started. Get this year started the right way. Ain't that the best little noise you ever heard? All right. All right, let's let it settle. Let it settle. First pickup. This the a lot of these are actually gifts that I got. Some pickups, but some of them are gifts. Uh, this was a pickup, not a pickup. Sorry, this was given to me by my friend Billy. It's a re retrocon Mad Cats controller. I thought it was really cool. It's like um, like a old school style controller, but it's for your PS2. So shout out to Billy for giving this to me for uh, Christmas. Thought this was really cool. I want to check it out. Look, long before the PS, you know, long before they were already doing the twin sticks right here. Remember on the PS2, they were doing it and they did it on this retro controller too. Pretty cool. So yeah, I'll be checking this controller out, see how it works. I think my beer is nice and settled now. Swig a beer, swig a beer for the new year. Oh, very foamy still. All right, let me let me start off with some video games first that I got. These I got as a gift from my from my um, compadre. I don't know how do you say compadre in in English, compadres, um, so I'm the godparent to one of his sons. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments, what does that translate to in English? So my compadre give, gave this to me in a gift exchange. So first is uh, Mario, what's it called? Mario Striker, Strikers Battle League. Pretty cool. I've never, never played the, the GameCube uh, soccer game, Mario soccer game. But I heard it's really fun, and I'm a fan of of uh, some of Mar the Mario sports games, like the one for the Switch, the other one for the Switch, the tennis, tennis aces. Man, that's probably one of the funnest sports games I've ever played, even though, you know, it's not like a simulation sports game. But, you know, when Nintendo makes stuff, it's it's fun. They're fun. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out this year. Admittedly, my Switch has collected a lot of dust, but I'm hoping that for this this New Year, New Year's resolution, show a little love to the Switch. So definitely going to check this one out. Next pickup I got. Keep saying pickup. These were I'm, I think I'm so used to just saying pickups, but this is another gift I got from my compadre Albert. NBA 2K23. Um, shout out to Smiley the Beast if she's watching this. I've been playing these 2K games since Allen Iverson, since The Answer was on the cover back in the Dreamcast days. So I think I've only missed, ever missed, probably less than a handful of the 2K games since they started in 2000. Um, but um, yeah, I'm happy to have this. I know my, my friend Billy, who gave me that IPA, came over recently and he's like why are you still playing nba 2k21 we need to buy the new one and and i think he was like threatening to buy it for me and i'm like nah nah the 2k21 is fine and he's like nah you got to get the new one you got to get the new one so I, I put it on my wish list wish list easy for me to say for my compadre to buy it for me so yeah shout out to the compadre albert uh, let's see. Now, now these are some actual pickups that I bought that I'm going to go through. First one, VHS. I'm, I'm big into VHS. Um, Mortuary on VHS. I've never, ever heard of this movie. If you guys have, let me know in the comments. Is, is it any good? Never heard of it. I just love reading the taglines, though. This has a long, long ass tagline. Before your funeral, before you are buried, 
before you are covered with the last shovel full of dirt, be sure you are really dead. The Mortuary. Who's in this? Bill Paxton? David Wallace? Mary McDonough? I'm sure uh, Ty Lord and my buddy T P -double M know, know who those guys are. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks creepy. So I got this on uh, Instagram from a user. I think his name is Wizard Has Wares. I don't know why I'm telling you guys, because now, now you guys are going to go and snatch up the good horror movies. But he, um, he posts a lot of cool like horror movies, VHS horror movies. So I snagged that one up. And this one from him, Satan's Cheerleaders. <laughs> one of those uh, feel-good, wholesome family movies, Satan's, cheer Satan's Cheerleaders. At Benedict High, all hell's about to break loose. Who's in this? John Ireland. Isn't that the commentator for the Lakers? Yvonne DiCarlo and John, John Carradine. I have no idea who that is. And I think the, the light that I put is way too bright for you guys to see. The, can you guys see that? I don't know. I'm talking to you guys like you can talk back to me. But Satan's cheerleaders. Cool one. I, I got I to gotta tone it down with the VHS. Because um, if you haven't seen, um, uh, well, you, you wouldn't have seen that video by then. But I'm doing a game room tour. Uh, where I'm showing like what I, how I have my setup, what I have in here. And to my right here, I have a VHS section, but it's very thin. And as you all know, VHS tapes take up a lot of room. So I got I got to cool it with the VHS buying because I'm running out of room quick. Swig a beer for old media. Last VHS tape that I got. Food of the Gods Part 2. And um, first of all, let me read the tagline. It's their party. You can die if you want to. See what they did there? Remember that song? It's my party and I, I can cry if I want to. Well, in this one, you can die if you want to. Um, so, oh, kind of a weird reason that I wound up buying this movie was um, there's a guy I follow on Instagram, South Side Scroller, I think is his name, and he posted a story of a clip of this movie, and the clip is just super bizarre. Uh, let Let's throw it to the clip really quick before I, I talk about this movie any any further. Let's go to the clip. So I see this clip on on his my on on a Southside Scrollers uh, Instagram story, and I'm like, I think I message him. I'm like, what is this movie, and where can I buy it? Because because I'm intrigued. I'm sold. So he doesn't even know. I think he 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 bar he like retweet. I don't know what they call that on Instagram, but he got somebody else's story and put it on his story. So he's like, dude, I don't know what that movie is. Um, so. I sent that clip to like a couple of other friends and one of my friends, Daniel, Psycho T, um, he, I don't know how he found out, but he sent me a Google screenshot of Food of the Gods. He said, oh, it's Food of the Gods Part 2. So immediately, you know, I know the title now. I go on, I'm searching on eBay, I'm searching um, Amazon. There was a DVD on Amazon for a hundred bucks for this movie. I'm not paying that. Um, I find so I find this copy, this VHS copy, on Mercari for t I think twenty five bucks with free shipping, and I'm like I, I gotta see what the hell this movie is. <laughs> so yeah, I wound up buying it because of that stupid clip. Let's go to that clip again. Let's go to that clip again.
I'll never get tired of watching that clip. So so I, I um, bought the damn movie, this tape, because of that clip. I actually wound up watching it, um, I think, a couple weeks ago. And um, not very good. It's not a very good movie. It's actually a pretty bad movie, I got to say. Pretty terrible movie. And in the first five minutes of the movie, that clip that I... That I um, I've showed a couple times that one comes out. So then after that, those five minutes, the movie goes downhill for me. <laughs> but it, essentially what the movie is, it, it's about um, some like growth hormone or some steroid or something that's injected into this kid. So that's why he's getting bigger and bigger. And his mom's like afraid of him because he keeps growing. Somehow that hormone or whatever ends up getting injected into a bunch of rats uh lab rats so now those those uh rats are running around the town giant rats and they're growing and they're growing and they're pretty much killing everybody in the in the town a lot of the the practical effects are pretty bad some are decent but for the most part they're pretty bad um so it's kind of like a a movie where there's two stories going on concurrently there's a story of these giant rats that are invading this town and killing everybody in the town and then they keep throwing it to the story of the kid the pretty much like honey i blew up the kid r-rated version like they keep throwing it back to that kid like to the to the the mom like and she keeps calling the scientist like oh man he's getting bigger and bigger and it was kind of confusing i'm like well, all right there's these giant rats that are killing the whole town but then there's also this side story with this mom that's concerned that her kid is like growing every every day. Really, really like bizarre movie. I, I was also really sick while watching this movie. So I kind of was like in a daze too. So I, <laughs> I think it made it more bizarre for me. Um, but yeah, not a great movie. But I'm going to keep this movie just so, so everybody that comes over to my house comes into my game room i'm gonna pop in this vhs and i'm gonna show him that clip of that kid you know what clip let's throw it let's throw to the clip again that clip i'm gonna show him that clip and yeah i'm gonna keep this movie and and apparently like like i said the dvd was on amazon for like a 100 bucks so it's expensive swig a swig a beer for overpriced movies on amazon my last pickup last thing i got was on 4k actual modern physical media the batman on 4k i wanted to see this movie when it first came out um didn't get around to watching it um, i had been wanting to watch it like i think it was on a streaming service didn't get around to it um so i put it on my wish list so this is also a gift from my my compadre albert put it on my wish list and um he got it for me i saw it this week this is a great movie this is a really cool movie um first of all it's also a fucking long movie it was three hours long which when i first saw it i was like how am i when am i gonna set aside three hours to watch this I mean, I, and I don't even have kids and I don't have to, like three hours of spare time to watch a whole movie like from beginning to end. So I wound up watching it like kind of in uh, part one, part two. So I saw it this week. I think I saw it on Tuesday and then I saw it again on, on Wednesday and really cool movie. I'm sure if you're a Batman fan, you've already seen the, seen this movie, but um, it gave me a lot of vibes of um, one of my favorite movies, Seven, with uh, Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. It has that like that look, that vibe, and also the Riddler in the movie kind of gave me the vibe of a uh, Kevin Spacey 
in uh, in seven. I'm wondering like if they kind of stole some of that from seven because it's like very pretty similar. Um, but yeah, really cool movie, really cool movie. Um, if I were to rank my favorite Batman movies, I think I still gotta go with the one right over my shoulder here. If you can tell what it is, the 1989 Batman. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm 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 judging it through nostalgia goggles. So that to me is always gonna be my favorite, just cause it I loved it as a kid. So that's still my favorite. But I don't know, this one and The Dark Knight are pretty close. I I might give the slight edge to The Dark Knight because I don't think that one was three hours long. <laughs> it's a fucking long movie, if I haven't mentioned that already. But uh, still, really cool. Highly recommend this one. That's it, guys. That's all I got. Uh, Happy New Year's. Hope you're all well. See you guys on the other side.